Well then, here we go. It's time to go subsonic. Uh, let me... Safety height is checked. So we're going to be going down to flight level 360. Uh, SI bugs answered. Descent altitude. Right, yeah. Warning landing dispose checked. We've got to press that button for this to work. And then we hit F2. And the flight engineer should bring the throttles back. the required TLA. Which is the throttle lever angle. So we'll go out hold. And I'll control the TLA because the flight engineer doesn't seem to be doing the thing. As you see, we're just over halfway. And, oh, actually, what I can do is... Not that button. Where are we? That button. Hey! Decided to risk it and go online. I'll just keep an eye on the VAS. Uh, but, yeah, there you can see, coming up uh, between... Uh, to the east of Italy. Uh, and I need my checklist because I need to remember what speed it is at 360 knots. We hit Alta Choir and at 350 IAS hold. We are slowing down nice and quick now. Hopefully we should be subsonic by the time we hit sort of Venice area. And for some reason, I know why we're skirting over land here. It's because our INS accuracy is... Oh no, it's here. Wait a minute. Oh no, we've done... Well, the DME, DME update did work then. Yeah, there we go. Uh, in which case, no, I do not know why our, why we are currently over land. Because we shouldn't be. It's not on our route. I thought it was just INS drift that had caused it. But uh, I'm less convinced now. It's not inconceivable, but I'm considerably less convinced. So we are slowing down past 380 knots. And you can see the speed rolling off at a reasonable rate. Below 1000 miles an hour now at least. Uh, and actually now we're online. I do need to keep an eye on that. There's 360. Alter choir. And at 350, IS hold will come on. And press alter choir again. And now we launch out our way down towards Venice. See how our attitude has increased significantly, but that will uh, drop off now we're actually descending. 26 tonnes of fuel. Not as much as I'd like, if I'm honest. Not as much as I'd like. But, because we are lighter, hopefully we can cruise a good bit higher than we did on the outbound flight. So we hopefully will save a little bit of fuel there. Um, we didn't get very high. You might have seen just at the start of this uh, this recording that the 
Altitude was still only about flight level 500, just couldn't get any higher than that. We are at Mach 2, we just couldn't get higher. Um, so our fuel burn was a little bit higher than I would like as well. Which, uh, yes, raises alarm bells. I'm well aware of that. So as we reduce in height, our Mach number will reduce as well. As you can see, we're descending at a fair old rate, 2,500 feet a minute. Right. And you can see our Mach number is starting to roll off. And when, when we get sort of below flight level 400 and hit the slightly soupier, thicker air, uh, the drag will increase significantly and that will slow us down. Uh, in terms of Mach number, um, but we'll be maintaining 350 knots. Uh, and actually what I can do is, uh, not that one, there's throttle quadrant, throttle, TLA 32, actually I want 34. Entirely sure how I actually set that now. Uh, whatever. This is what it is. Then Mac 1.17 now. Uh, and as you can see, we are getting quite close to the land. Who's this chappy? 36,000 going to Paris. Might just need to scoot over the top of him. So let's just key in flight level 380 just to make sure we do go over the top. AE406 Aegean. That chappy there. And we are well above him at the moment, but uh, as I say, we are in lawn dart mode at the moment. So we can check the ramps. A few uh, just customary checks. The ramps are fully open. So we're just waiting to get below the speed of sound, Mach 1. A um, couple of things to do then. We turn the misters and some heaters back on. Um, and we'll change the engine schedule as well. That's a thousand feet to go. And when we lock onto that altitude, I'll turn the auto throttle on. And there we are, starting to roll out. And 350 knots puts us just above the speed of sound so we'll knock a smidge off there shoot for around about 0.9695 somewhere around there 
Uh, yeah, we're not quite slow enough yet. We are still just supersonic. And we've probably overtaken that chappy. You can see, but I cannot. Oh, no, we haven't. It's down to our 11 o'clock-ish. Can we see him? I've got all the draw distances turned right down. Um, let's try and save me a bit of memory. Oh, his memory. 1.7 gig. Oh, that's fine. Loads of people chatting Innsbruck. That's nice. I'd love to try and fly this into Innsbruck, but genuinely that's not possible. Um, not a chance. Still not quite subsonic yet, are we? Oh, because I didn't click IS Acquire, you melon. we have to go even lower, I think we are. Just wait for that Mach number to uh, get below Mach 1. And then we can go over land legally. It's 3.30 and we're still above the speed of sound. Three twenty. So on the quiet, yes it is. There's three twenty and we're just below three ten. And when, when we're at a sensible Mac number, I can just go Mac hold. 0.97, that's close enough. Mac hold. And go. There we go. We're on Mac hold. We're subsonic now, so we can do our subsonic checklist. So, pressure static heaters come back on. Uh, windscreen demist and everything comes on. Uh, I'll just turn the de-ice on just to give... It's a bit more demisting because this does, uh, it really does mist up. And engine control schedule goes to flyover for a subsonic leg. And we're all good there. And not much to do now until we are back in Blighty. Uh, let me just pull up that spy again on the screen. Have we overtaken him? We're more or less parallel. Accounting for the lag of that spy. But I am not seeing him. Or her. Could be a her. No, I think the draw distance, because I've got it down so low, we're just not... Oh, yeah. I can see some uh, 5G contrails up there. I don't know if that's going to render on your screen or not. Maybe with a bit of uh, YouTube compression, fighting a losing battle there. But I can just see some contrails up there. If we go back to us, we're more or less level. Anyone see him? Because I cannot. He is more or less over Venice. So he's sort of on, down this way, but he's only um, he's only a little bit below us. Look at the angle that we're at there just to maintain altitude. No, not to be seen. Well, that's fine. Saves me a bit of memory on the old VAS. Now, there are a couple of things we need to, not need to do, but we could 
do with um oh, that should actually be on low uh, in terms of our fuel because I don't know exactly what altitude we should be at so where's my subsonic cruise there we go Uh, that's DME update, I don't care about that. Oh, that's supersonic cruise, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Subsonic cruise, here we go. Subsonic cruise is carried out at Mach decimal 98. Sorry, 95. 95. So we should slow down a smidge. Waiting for 0.95. There's 0.95, so now we'll go into Mac Hold. Um, so, recommended procedure is to fly with a CFG position of 55%. Or what, 56 and a bit. And if we climb, I think our CFG goes back. So maybe we're a bit too high. Okay. Are we safe to descend? Yes, we absolutely are. So, out of choir. Yep, did press it. So, we'll descend a bit. So, we're about 56.6 ish percent. Don't think there's a tool tip for that. No. I wonder if it's on here. Uh, no, it's not going to be on there, but it might be on here. 56.2 we're at at the moment. Hmm, I don't think we'll hit the magic 55. I've never actually managed to do it, so... Yeah, that's why it's a bit of a mess. I need to change the font size and stuff on there. But our fuel burn, actually, mind you, we are descending, so it's a bit false, but our fuel burn's pretty good. We're just going very slow. That pong is a thousand feet to go. Altitude of 1,000 to go. Yeah, that has brought our CFG forwards, which is what we wanted. But it has reduced our speed. Has it? I didn't look at the... It's the ground speed, really, that's important. I mean, we can't go above Mach 1, but... We at now 56, just shy of 56 actually. Percent mean aerodynamic cord MAC. Ooh, someone's in an F 18. 
And actually, what might be nice is what runway we're going to be on. Flight Radar 24 says dun, 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 two sevens. So we'll be taking two seven left. Unless a controller tells us otherwise. And at the moment, there's ground with an ATIS. As far as I'm aware, he can't do. But uh, he's saying 27 right. But Concorde's uh, always operated on the south runways. Uh, so it had a shorter taxi more than anything. Right, so bringing our flight level down did help. So I'm going to do the same. I'm going to drop us all the way down to 320. So if that's going to improve our efficiency then I'm game because yeah clearly that looks quite high drag at the moment and that's what I don't want so then we're burning fuel just to fight the air and we want to do that as little as possible so I'll continue this descent a nice short sweet video there um, dropping out of supersonic for a subsonic leg uh, as we come over North Italy at the moment and into we're just going to skim Austria into Germany uh, and then we might cross Luxembourg uh, and then around actually looks like will be North France rather than Belgium uh, but you'll see us for approach.